Another important step while setting up your system is additional charges. These are extras such as insurance, GPS, or child seats that you can add to the booking process. We start by clicking on Setup, which will bring us to the Additional Charges section. As usual, we already can see a few examples here. Let's click on the full coverage plan. Every additional charge is customizable. We can select an icon which will be shown in the booking process. We can set if the customer will be able to choose only one or multiple units. Then, a really important step is selecting how the pricing for this extra will be calculated. There are seven possible options available. Let's say that for this full coverage extra, we will determine the daily amount. After that, we can set the rate per day here in this box. We can also set it to be a mandatory charge if we want to. The default settings will give us more options to go over. We can set different parameters for each extra. For example, if this extra is selected by default. If it's recommended, showing a green highlight section in the booking process. We can choose if this extra is available for bookings done through the website, or if we want to hide it from the reservation process. There are several options to go through in order to have complete control of each additional charge. There are also advanced options available for an even deeper configuration. In the website section, we can set a description that will be shown during the reservation process. After completing the configuration, we can click on save. Now let's go back to the system and see it working. We can start a quick new reservation. Select any vehicle class. And then in step 3, is where we would be able to see our newly added extra. All the selected features are now active, just as we selected in previous steps. We can then select this additional charge and it will be added to the reservation summary on the right. 